All right, what do we got here? We got an upper body exercise rotation video as opposed to the lower body one I released before. And it's going to follow the same format. So for max effort, you're going to want to have similar motor patterns to repeat and come back to that change just enough to where you're rotating an exercise, but the motor pattern is fairly simple. So grip changes, bands, chains, Larson press, legs up. Then that's you'll have a bunch of flat variations. Then you can have some incline and some shoulder variations, such as push presses with different bars, incline benches at different angles. You could do seated pin presses off of pins at various heights. And then, like I said in the other video, I like to have eight movements four motor patterns, two of each, and then just swap them out when they stop working. Give them some sort of classification like incline or dip or something without legs such as a floor press or a Larson press or even dips can fall in that category by not using your legs. And then have rotations, keep track of your maxes and go from there. Then we have rotations with speed work. Now a big problem people run into with speed work is they're only doing flat bench and then just bouncing back and forth with bands or chains. But if you're not a power lifter and that doesn't meet your goals, you can do other things such as pin presses. As you see here, pin presses are actually very hard because you're not getting that over speed eccentric and it's just pure, pure acceleration work. So you're not getting the rebound out of the bottom. Then you could do incline bench. There was a phase where I was doing nothing but incline bench for speed, which can be very good for athletic performance. And then there was a, a point in time where I experimented with slow negatives off a low incline like you see in this video. So experiment a little bit with your speed work and rotate some things in. Then there is assistance work. This is the easiest one to explain. You don't have to change every week. You don't have to change every three weeks, just as long as what you have there in your program, like what you're trying to accomplish, is similar. So one week you could do seated shoulder press. Another week you can do standing shoulder press. Or two weeks, three weeks, however long you want to rotate through. Then you could use different bars. Notice how this is the same motor pattern. They're all vertical presses to hypertrophy and strengthen the shoulders. Then we have some chaos band pressing. Now another thing to note is you're going to be able to use different loads on each of these exercises because they challenge your muscles in a different way. So you're definitely not going to use a bunch of weight on the chaos band presses as you would a standard press. So it's a way of auto-regulating your training and not going hard all the time. Then we have some presses here that I'm showing you that bias the pecs, such as the Larson press, the dumbbell floor press. Then we have chaos pressing with a bamboo bar, but this time it is on a flat bench. So all three of those variations can be cycled in for your pecs because notice they follow the same motor pattern. It doesn't have to be super rigid where it's like I'm going to do three weeks here, three weeks there. No, you see what you feel like. Milk exercises, keep them in as long as you can, but also come back to them, swap them out, bring them back in and progress from there. You saw some push-up variations and now you're going to see a whole bunch of back variations such as barbell rows with the rhino bell bar. Then we have chest supported rows, which will put more emphasis on your actual rowing muscles while taking stress off your lower back. And then we have some meadows rows or side T-bar rows, whatever you want to call them. But those are just three back variations that you can throw in to your rotation. And then there are endless amounts of tricep work you can do. You can do strict extensions with the dumbbell. You could do rolling extensions like you see here. All that matters is it follows the same movement pattern and it stresses your triceps. So but when it comes to exercise rotation, make sure the exercises that you're taking out and replacing follow the same movement patterns and stress the same muscles so that you can attack your weaknesses for longer.